you so much for joining me. My name is David Dash. I am the trumpet professor here at the University of North Carolina School of the Arts. This is the Watson Recital Hall where I'm playing right now. Uh, please get your trumpets out and we're going to do a lot of playing back and forth. So get ready to pause the video and copy uh, some of the things that I've done. So the first thing I'd like to talk about and help you figure out is how to produce sound without forcing. Actually forcing reduces the sound. So on purpose, I want you to play that first note, the C, with a kind of tight approach. You can hear that I'm already quite a bit tighter and less resonant than before. Now see if you can think of it as releasing the sound. This has a lot to do with the level of relaxation and air movement. So let's practice for a second an air pattern where we actually tighten up. You can feel holding here in the throat. Now let's practice releasing the air. Try that C one more time with a full release of air. The next thing I'd like to work on is intonation in this beginning part. Let's use drones to make sure that our C's, G's, and C's are really in tune. The next spot I'd like to look at is measure 11. We have this octave leap between the F and the F. Let's think of it as terms of air speed increasing. So if the low F is maybe 25 miles an hour, let's call the high F 35 miles an hour. Practice that air pattern with me. The next spot is this deck tuplet on B4. This is just a C harmonic minor scale and I have some uh, rhythmic patterns that I think are going to help. So get ready to pause the video and trade back and forth with me. The next way to work on this deck tuplet, of course, is just to start slowly with the tempo and increase gradually over time. In measure 17, it's important to play piano. So we're actually going to practice the opposite of that, just for contrast. So copy me. We're going to go forte, mezzo forte, mezzo piano, piano. Starting in measure 35, make sure to play softly with a little faster tempo than you had in the previous bar and crescendo up to that big fortissimo after the cadenza. Start the cadenza a little bit slowly and gradually speed up the tempo. 
If you're having trouble with the coordination, start at a tempo that is ridiculously easy and gradually increase the tempo over the course of the next days and weeks. For this passage, it's really important to start at a slow and comfortable tempo. So since our goal tempo is going to be somewhere around 104, I recommend starting at 52. This will be unbelievably easy, but that's okay. We want it to be easy. <laughs> starting in measure 34, it's important to play softly, so make sure that you start actually at a loud dynamic just for practice and scale it down until you're really comfortable with that uh, piano dynamic. Practice air patterns like this. Try to think in four bar phrases and keep the air as continuous as possible even over the articulated notes. This passage requires a lot of coordination, so you really should start at half tempo. That's 52 for the quarter note, and gradually increase the tempo depending on how much time you have until you record your audition. about recording, do your best to make sure that you get as resonant a space as possible. If you have to use your bedroom, that's okay. If you can get a larger space like a classroom, your band classroom, um, or a church, that would be much better. Um, try to get a microphone that's better than just your phone. There are a number of plug-in microphones that you can find online that will improve the sound quality. The video on your phone is very good. You don't need to change that. Experiment with mic placement. Likely your mic should be placed, if you're in a large space, about 10 feet away from you and off at, a, at an angle, probably about a 45 degree angle from the direction your bell is pointed. Experiment with microphone levels to make sure that you're not overloading the mic. Finally, give yourself at least a few days to experiment with playing the passages, listening back, seeing what you want to fix, trying again, listening again. If you only give yourself one shot, it's going to be hard to get the quality that you want. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my email is dash d at uncsa.edu. Thank you. <laughs>